Welcome back to SolidWorks tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple pen drive in SolidWorks. It it is more useful for the beginner. Hope you like it. So let's start the drawing. So first of all go to the file then select new part then ok. We entered the SolidWorks interface. So let's change the interface to plain white. So simply select plain white and uh, go to the top plane right click a sketch then normal and make the center rectangle of 35 into 12 mm so click on center rectangle and uh, make it go to a smart dimension make it 35 and uh, it will be 12 mm then ok so exit the sketch and go to the feature stood box base <coughs> 7 mm but it is mid plane then ok so it is better to apply the material so go to the appearance and uh, select the plastic and high gloss then drag to this part then ok if you want to change the color so go to the display manager and double click on this and you can change this color so i like i select this then ok and uh, give the fillet to all the corners so simply go to the fillet and uh, make the fillet of 2 mm then click all the corners then ok and make the fillet of 1 mm from this and uh, this <coughs> then ok and uh, go to this surface go to sorry the fillet will be 2 here so go to the fillet then ok to extrude boss base from this surface so simply right click sketch then normal and uh, make the center rectangle from this surface to 9 mm to 3 mm so simply select the center rectangle and uh, let's go to a smart dimension and uh, make it 9 mm and uh, make this line 3 mm and extrude to 10 mm from this surface so go to the features and extrude boss base so select this 10 mm then ok but uh, don't merge this boss extrude so go to edit feature and uh, merge near result uncheck then ok <coughs> and go to the appearance and uh, select this part to metal G go to the gene and select this then ok and uh, make the extrude cut from this surface so simply select this and sketch go to normal and make the center rectangle from this this the gap between 
this line will be 0.5 mm so simply select to a smart dimension and uh, this line and this line will be 0.5 this line and this line be 0.5 mm then okay and stored cut to 10 mm so simply go to stored cut and make it 10 mm then okay again go to this surface right click sketch then normal and uh, go to center rectangle from this midpoint we are going to 4 mm so simply select this go to a smart dimension and make this line 4 mm and uh, from this point make the line of 2 mm so simply select this and go to a smart dimension and from this to this 2 mm so select 2 mm and uh, make the center rectangle from this point 1.5 into 1.5 so select the center rectangle from this point go to the smart dimension this line will be 1.5 mm and uh, this line also be 1.5 then okay if you want to mirror this pro profile to this so simply go to mirror entity select this line and uh, mirror about this line then okay and uh, go to extrude cut so go to the features and uh, extrude cut through all so simply select through all then okay and uh, make this make this extrude boss base from this surface so simply select this this surface go to a sketch then normal and uh, make the make the corner rectangle from this point to this point and uh, the distance between the line will be 0 0.8 mm so simply go to the smart dimension and uh, this line will be 0.8 then okay and stood up to 9.9 mm so go to the stood boss base and it will be 9.9 .9. then okay sorry it will be then okay from this surface make the strip of metal so simply select this surface right click sketch then normal and uh, go to the corner rectangle from this to this line and uh, go to the uh, smart dimension so s the distance between this point to this line will be 0 0.25 2.25 then okay and uh, the distance will also be this line this line to this line 0.25 then okay and uh, the line will be this point to this point 0.9 then okay and uh, from this line and this line will be 0 0.85 point eight five. then okay 
and it's true to 0 0.05 so simply go to the features and store both this to point zero five then okay so if you want to linear pattern four number so go to the linear pattern first of all direction to direction means to to where we want to mirror linear to select this axis so simply select this line and uh, fe feature and face select this boss stone so simply select this and uh, the distance between two bodies will be 1.8 mm so simply select 1.8 mm and uh, reverse direction and the uh, number of pattern will be 4 then ok then again select this surface go to sketch then normal and uh, make, make the this make this fillet of 0. 5 mm so simply select this all the corners so go to the fillet and uh, make the fillet of 0.5 then ok select this corner so simply go to select all the corners then ok again go to this surface right click sketch then normal and uh, make the circle of so simply select the circle and uh, <coughs> make the circle of 7 mm so go to the smart dimension and uh, make it 7 mm then ok and uh, distance between the line to this point will be 6 mm and uh, it should it should cut to 0 0.5 mm so click go to the feature it should cut 0 0.5 then ok and again select this surface go to sketch then normal and uh, make the circle of 6 mm so select this line and uh, go to the smart dimension and make the circle of 6 mm then ok and extrude up to go to the feature extrude boss base up to 2 mm sorry 1 mm then ok and uh, make the fillet of 0.5 then select this then ok and if you want to mirror this so simply go to the mirror command and uh, select the top plane to go go to the feature features to mirror features to mirror cut stood boss stood then ok and uh, give the fillet go to the fillet and make the fillet of 0.5 mm to this corner then ok go to the appearance and uh, 
so we design so simply select this fillet to this corner so go to the fillet and uh, make the fillet of 1 mm so select this and uh, select this surface then ok now we will design the pen drive in solid words hope you will like this video thanks for watching